So, this week I was doing all the research on frogs, and this other guy kept popping up. Similar to me, kinda. Some Kermit guy from some street somewhere. <laughs> oh yeah, that's Kermit the Frog. We love Kermit the Frog. You love Kermit the Frog? Well, what about me? Wouldn't you want to learn about me too? I mean, we're kind of like the same kind of thing. Sorry, Gus. I would rather learn about frogs. See? 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 That's exactly what I'm talking about. Nobody wants to learn about me. Well, maybe that's a... I don't know. Is that a good idea? Well, Gus, you could have fun with the video too. Okay, I guess... But he's not going to be here though, right? No, no. Okay, good. I guess let's go. Let's start the video. He is all about frogs. Hey, guess what? Did you know there are over 4,700 species of frogs? Frogs have lived on Earth for almost as long as dinosaurs and can be found on every continent except for Antarctica. And the earliest known frog lived during the late Jurassic period, about 190 million years ago. Herpetologists are the people that study amphibians and reptiles. This is also called herpetology. The frog family includes the bullfrog, common frog, green frog, leopard frog, marsh frog, pickerel frog, and wood frog. Toads are also actually frogs. And frogs are cold-blooded, tailless amphibians. Their bodies are the same temperature as the air or water around them. Amphibians have vertebrae, which means they have a backbone and require water or a moist environment to survive. When frogs are cold, they will sit under the sun to get warm. And if they get too hot, they'll cool off in the water. It's kind of like us during the summertime. If we get too hot, we'll hop in a pool. Frogs live by any kind of fresh water, but they like ponds, lakes, and marshes more because the water is still and doesn't flow like a river or stream. But you will not find any frogs in the ocean because they cannot live in salt water. Now, frogs lay their eggs in the water, and did you know they can lay as many as 4,000 eggs in something called a frog spawn? Frogs start out as an egg, then hatch into a tadpole. When they are nine weeks old, their legs start to grow. The body gets longer and you start to notice the head that looks a little bit more like a frog. Then the arms will begin to grow and pop out. Their elbow comes first. Then the tadpole will look more like a frog, but with a long tail. And depending on water and the food supply, the frog will be fully formed in three to four months. When frogs and toads are tadpoles, they eat algae and other forms of bacteria. As they grow, frogs and toads will start eating insects, worms, spiders, slugs, and even snails. That sounds delicious! Delicious? Well, maybe not spiders, but did you ever slurp a worm? It's like having a thick piece of spaghetti! That's disgusting, Gus! Okay. And believe it or not, some bigger frogs will even eat mice, rats, lizard, snakes, and even small birds. And hey, guess what? Some frogs will even eat other frogs. Frogs absorb water through their skin in an area known as the drinking patch, which is located on their belly and the underside of their thighs. They actually don't drink water. Here's a cool fact. Frogs were the first land animal that had vocal cords. And every frog sound is different depending on what species of frog it is. Some frog sounds can be heard from a mile away. Hey, guess what? Did you know that frogs can make about 1,000 different sounds? Some of them are whistles, croaks, peeps, and even grunts. That famous ribbit sound is from only one species of frog the Pacific tree frog. 
And frogs wait for their prey to come to them. Frogs do not chase after their prey. Frogs use their muscular tongue, which is sticky, to catch and swallow food. My tongue just always sticks out. Yeah, it's kind of gross. A frog's tongue is not attached to the back of its mouth like a human. Instead, it is attached to the front, and this is what lets frogs stick their tongues out much further. Did you know that frogs have very tiny teeth, but they don't use them for chewing food? These teeth are actually used to hold the prey in place and then swallow their meal whole. But guess what? Toads do not have any teeth. Frogs breathe through their skin when it's moist, but if their skin gets too dry, they could suffocate. Toads have tougher skin that doesn't dry out as fast. This allows toads to live farther away from water. And frogs have an amazing sense of hearing, and you can tell the difference between male and female frogs by the size of their eardrum, which are behind their actual eyes. A frog is a female if the eardrum is smaller than its eye. Males' eardrums are the same size as their eye. And frogs have very, very strong back or rear legs with webbed feet, which help them jump huge distances, as well as help them swim, too. Frogs even use their legs to dig underground when they hibernate. Hey, guess what? Some frogs, they can jump up to 20 times their own body lengths. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I would think that's a bigger than wow. That's like wow! And most frogs molt or shed their skin once a week, but some do it every day. Once the old skin comes off, the frog usually eats it. The biggest enemy of the frog is pollution. So you might be asking, what's the difference between a frog and a toad? Toads do not need to live near water to survive. And toads have rough, dry, bumpy skin and a wider body, and their eyes are lower and shaped more like a football. And toads also have smaller, less powerful rear legs, and will actually run or take small hops instead of jumping. Toads don't have many predators. It's because their skin has a bitter taste and smell, kind of like a skunk, and their skin burns the eyes and nostrils of their predators. There are more than 300 species of toads. And here are some cool facts about frogs that we didn't go over yet. The biggest frog in the world is the Goliath frog. They live in Cameroon in West Africa. That's Goliath, not Goliath. Goliath, like David and Goliath, not David and Goliath. What are we gonna do with you? And the tiniest frog is the gold frog. A gold frog is only three eighths of an inch. Like your brain, Gus. Huh? And records show that in captivity, many frogs and toads live for about four all the way up to 15 years. One even lived to be 40 years old. It was the European common toad. And the most poisonous frog on earth is the golden dart frog. And the skin of one of these frogs can kill up to a thousand people. Hey, guess what? When a frog goes into hibernation, a new layer of bone forms. And for our last fact, we mentioned that some frogs can jump over 20 times their own body length. That would be like a human jumping further than the length of two school buses back to back. Well, hey, guess what? Now we know all about frogs and toads. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Bye. Bye.